Hey! Any fish? It's the 4th of February 2020. Pray you're all well. There's a plethora of things that I want to share with you here. Uh, one thing I want to just get out of the way is the undeniable connection to all this spiritual warfare to Kansas. I mean, it's just undeniable. Did you know the Spanish flu from back in 1918 was actually originated in Kansas through the U.S. Army? And then they exported it to Europe and the world, right? Unknowingly, sure, they knew full well it was going on. And it ended up killing anywhere from 50 to 100 million people around the world. And oddly enough, it seemed to only affect 20 to 40 year olds, primarily men. Go figure that out. That's called a bio weapon. And yes, they've had this technology for that long. And it was never fully reported in the U.S., although they knew it. So there goes your theory about the fourth estate being anything more than a mouthpiece for the Luciferian elite, because that's all they are. It was only first reported in Spain, and hence they dubbed it the Spanish flu. And some of the gematria related to this is really telling. Kansas in the Jewish 232 is an exact match to Satan, an exact match to climate change which is the mechanism by which they are using to control the masses. This is what's going on. The chemtrails change the climate because that's your climate change. What do you think is going to happen when you dump trillions of tons of nanoparticulates into the atmosphere? You're going to change the climate. You understand? They're playing God, and they're distributing nanotech through the chemtrails. It's airborne. It's not a single fiber here and there. Um, it is glowing under UV light. So if you take a UV lamp at night, you can see those fibers airborne. And there are billions of them. And these fibers is infecting the human body. And with 95% or 99% of the people, nothing special happens. They just function as a plasmonic antenna to send out a signal but you don't get sick from it, you don't get ill. No visible symptoms. So we, we would guess 100% of the population is infected. Some of the people cannot handle it. And at a certain point, they are extracted via the skin. And you can see that they have these ability um, to collect colors. You have blue morgellons and you have red morgellons. And nobody knows where these colors come from because they are of technical origin. It's not a natural substance. So you can see them when the skin is opening. You can see them under the microscope if you make a blood analysis. And you can let them grow artificially in a petros, petri dish, uh, dish. And if you look at them, you see they're a little bit more complex than a simple fungus, they have kind, kind of organs inside, they have little red stem cells of an unknown species that are self-replicating as well. Which works in sync with the 5G and the 6G and the 7G. We're going to talk about that. The color out of space. This is what we're dealing with. That little guy in a pentagram, these words, demons, doesn't capture the essence of what's happening here. And these things that we're summoning into the world now are not demons, but they're more like the Lovecraftian great old ones. There's only one way out of this darkness, and that is Jesus Christ. The blood of the Lamb is the only defense against this. It's interesting how Kansas in the English is 390, which is 13 times 30, correct? And coronavirus in the Jewish is 1303, and in the English it's 930. That's not an accident, it's because it's all intertwined. And this coronavirus is a huge experiment, if you will, that has gone fairly hot 
They may take it hot worldwide and just start quarantining and forcing vaccinations on people. This is really a possibility. You need to be prepared for these things. Spiritually, number one, and physically and mentally, prepare yourself for the things that are coming. That you're going to see and experience things that are not going to be pleasant. And it'll be very tempting to just dive into your 5G augmented world to escape it. And that's what most people will do. And they'll just submit their will right over to this beast system. Ending up with the mark of the beast and total separation from God. You do not want that. It's interesting. I saw this morning Trump, they say, accidentally congratulates Kansas on winning the Super Bowl. It's not an accident. None of these things are an accident. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Right? I'm going to share this commercial with you here because it's off the charts, you guys. And we're going to talk about 7G, too. But get a load of this commercial, which I am not going to play the sound for. Now, check this out. This is their T-Mobile secret 5G lab right here, okay? I want you to notice the color scheme. Notice how everything is purple, scarlet, right? Red and blue combinations, just like the Morgellons. And now they're ready to cut loose with the 5G. But before they do, they get an incoming call from John. John the Revelator, because this is all prophesied. This is the mark of the beast and the beast system being put into effect. Then the CEO pops up. He's representing the angel of light right in front of your eyes. That's what it is. And he tells them to light it up. It's time. Let's light it up. And they got their little T-Mobile Tau Cross logos on. And they're getting ready to launch ICBMs because they're going through the same sequence you would go through for a missile launch. Enter launch code. Entering launch code. Target sequence complete. Insert launch key. T minus 50. Number one enabled. Two enabled. On my mark, rotate launch keys to launch. Roger, ready to go launch. And notice the keys. Boom. Let's light it up. And look what they launch. You just can't make this stuff up, you guys. They are releasing the demons into the world through this medium. The chemtrails, the 5G, the airwaves, so on and so forth, and releasing them out into the world. Look at that. It looks like Kansas, don't it? Looks just like Kansas. We're not in Kansas anymore. These look like chemtrails, and they're turning the whole landscape into this purple hellhole putting you into an augmented reality and harvesting your life energy, your light, your very will, because that's what they want, your free will. And most will freely give it up, eventually taking the mark of the beast. Yeah! yeah. And we're just getting started. And wait until they see what's next. This is no joke, folks. This is the real deal. You're dealing with the prince of the power of the air. Powers and principalities in high places. It's interesting that very Zion, Verizon, had a Super Bowl experience with the 5G. And I guarantee you they conducted a multitude of experiments that we may never see or know about. But I guarantee it. This is all ultimately the synagogue of Satan. They have communications with the fallen, with the Nephilim. That's who they are. The color out of space is what they are setting up. This is Satan's beast system manifesting before your eyes. And they distribute all the media through the chemtrails, as well as controlling the weather with it. You'll notice that when the Morgellons is shown in people, it's always the red and blue, purple. The nanoscale DNA porphyrin complex for artificial light harvesting. Search these terms and you will find that these are actual products being used for actual applications in the chemtrails. 
And she also analyzed the single color particles that she found in the air, also the color airborne, that then at a certain point is entering the mycelium after it replicated within the human body. Yeah, so th this is coming to the concept of self-assembling nanobots. Self-assembly means you spray the fiber, it is replicating, you sp spray the color, and within the human body, the color and the fiber is mounting to a, to a working unit. This is what, what you call self-assembling nanobot. If you just take the chemical formulas of these colors, and if you look at this, you can find all the, all the things connected to the Morgellons disease. You find like large area self-assembled plasmonic photonic crystals. If you go into this publication, you find these hexagonal forms. And if you look for the function, actually this is an, a thing that is collecting a radio signal and turning the radio frequency into DNA-readable light impulses within the body. So this is the reading unit. If you look down there, you have photonic crystal fibers. If you look what they do, it's normally they talk about carbon nanotubes filled with these colors, with these quantum dot chemistry. And the function is to collect light processed by the DNA and turn it into a readable signal. If you put the two together, this goes beyond the novel. You get a read-write unit. I can take one person, make him angry, read out his anger, digitize it, put it on an antenna and address 100 people that are not angry. And if they have this biology within their system, they, f they will feel exactly the same uh, experience of anger, like a tape recorder. Record the human experience, the overall human experience of a human, and you can tell by the colors what this includes. Reading and transmitting light signals, electroluminescent light, which is what your body produces in every function, every thought, every intention, every feeling. They have positive and negative energies, and they are harvesting that from you in order to control you. This is the plan. I'm just telling you. Self-assembly, electroluminescent, double helical, metal polymers, and phototonic crystal fibers. Look this stuff up. It's creating the minority report, essentially. Imagine a world without murder. Just six years ago, the homicide rate in this country had reached epidemic proportions. It seemed that only a miracle could stop the bloodshed. But instead of one miracle, we were given three, the precognitives. Within just one month under the pre-crime program, the murder rate in the District of Columbia was reduced 90%. Within a year, pre-crime effectively stopped murder in our nation's capital. In the six years we've been conducting our little experiment, there hasn't been a single murder. And now pre-crime can work for you. We want to make absolutely certain that every American can bank on the utter infallibility of this system. And to ensure that what keeps us safe will also keep us free. It's Fallen Angel Tech. And why do you think Musk is launching thousands of these satellites, Cube Satellites 6G Project, known as 6 Genesis? You can't get any more blatant than this. Go read Genesis 6. You'll see exactly who you're dealing with. This 6G enabled wireless smart society ecosystem. Oh yeah, it sounds great, doesn't it? It'll provide precision localization to a fraction of an inch supplementing the GPS. This is why they're doing all these tests with the GPS, because this is going to supplement it and essentially take it over, allowing imaging techniques that will identify any person or moving object, and I should have, on the face of the earth. You understand? This is what they're doing. 7G. Let's have a gander at this. You think it's a non-thing? Well, you're wrong. What is 7G? Well, this guy explains to us. And he talks about the transmitters that everyone is up in arms about now. The 5G, like they're doing over in China. They're installing 
a full-on 5G system over there in order to fight the corona virus. <laughs> you serious? This stuff is all cell augmentive technology. You need to understand sound, you are water, and sound and waves are used to manipulate these things. Thank you to Nicholson1968. And if you actually observe these things, you'll see you and me are virtually made up of water. And when sound and wavelengths are applied to the water, it can be manipulated very specifically to do what the operator wills it to do. Do you understand? This is a real thing. This is happening right before our eyes. What is the 7G? Listen to what this guy has to say. I'm very pleased to be able to finally announce our 7G vision. Now, if you look at any of the legacy technologies today, like 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, any wireless technology, it works on the principles of transmit and receive. So it's always the transmit part which is a problem because uh, when you are transmitting something, it consumes power and of course there is this radiation issues, all kinds of things. And if we do it right, uh, we don't even need a separate receiver. Humans can act as a receiver. So let's say humans, we actually uh, inhale oxygen and emit carbon dioxide. On the other hand, trees, they inhale uh, carbon dioxide and emit oxygen. Now, if we were designed optimally, we could actually uh, consume oxygen or carbon dioxide and emit carbon dioxide or oxygen. So, you know, uh, this is where I think nature failed us. So, if we design 7G correctly, uh, we would have a chance to fix all future wireless technologies. Uh, all humans, uh, we emit positive or negative energy. So, the negative energy could be something like wicked thoughts, jealousy, depression, etc. What if you can use this uh, negative energy and use this as a transmission media? Uh, so, and you can even extend it further. So you can use anything that's harming the environment like carbon dioxide, methane, whatever, and you can use them as a, as a transmission media. So in return, you have actually uh, consumed all the negative energy or anything that's harming the environment and turned it into something positive. And this can actually be uh, useful not just for humans, but also for the environment. We, uh, the first goal for us is to have a logo design correctly. Now, if you look at 3G or 4G or 5G logo, it's basically some uh, a number and a letter and with some kind of a radiation sign. This is not something that can connect with people uh, emotionally, spiritually, uh, you know, economically. So what we need to do is we need to design a logo that actually connects with people and uh, the people can actually buy in into this vision. The most important thing to do is get the logo right. With a good 7G logo, we can get the entire community behind this vision. We are very excited about 7G. 7G promises to bring exciting new innovations into the hands of those participating. So, they're going to use your actual feelings, your negative and positive energy combined with particulates that they call pollution, carbon, if you will. Remember, they want a carbon-free world. You're carbon-based. They want you gone. That's what it means. So, this is what we're dealing with. You're literally looking at the emergence of the beast system. It's time. Let's light it up. Check. It's three, two, two one. one. It's, it's working! working. We're just getting started. Wait until they see what's next. And they will tell you, oh, these things are 10 years out. Baloney. It's a big heaping pile of baloney. This stuff is being built right now. And you'll wind up in a minority report world. But it's real and it's 
absolutely upon us. And Christ Jesus is the only defense. You got to know this. I pray that you know him. Call on the name of Jesus and learn the truth and be saved. Period. Because this is what is upon us. End of discussion. And we're just getting started. We'll wait until they see what's next. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,